Hi everyone, today I'm doing a video that's been requested by Angie and I've been promising her for months that I would do this. She wanted me to show her how I make my little flip down and up pages. So I'm working on this Christmas uh, album. So I just did this one and I ran over the time so I'm going to quickly uh, show you how I, how I did this. So this is my car, my cardstock base, chipboard base, excuse me, with um, already um, have decorator paper on it. And then this piece is cut from a 12 by 12 um, piece of cardstock, or yeah, cardstock, which this is actually, this pattern is basic gray figgy pudding, I believe and then a matte piece. So this is um, 12, actually this is 12 by four, so that I will have three four inch squares. And then to score it, I just put it on my grid carefully and then mark score it every four inches. Now when I score my my paper and my cardstock, I use my my piercing tool, but I have a very light touch. Most people use a bone folder or a um, or a rub-on tool, one of the rub-on stylus. So this paper that I'm using here has these adorable snowmen on the front and on the back it has this lined paper which I thought would be really good for um, for journaling and then I don't have to actually make journal um, use a journaling stamp. So I think what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. Since this one, the 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 it opens from the top, I think I'm going to make this one open from the bottom. So I've already inked my edges and so the way this is going to go is like this. Okay, so I want to, this this is a little bit plain, so I want to embellish like I did on this one, if you can see. I've embellished it with a little bit of um, ink and glitter stamp. So I'm taking my Dewdrop, and this color is Sea Breeze, and I'm using this stamp, which is from the Inka Dinka Doo Snowflakes and I'm using this image right here. So, just stamp here. And then make sure, let's see, it's gonna be these two here. Then a second one. On this section here. Thank you. 
And then as you can see, it just adds a little color and a little sparkle. Oh, and the, the embossing powder that I used is the one that I make with the clear embossing powder and then I just add glitter to it. Okay, I'm going to start hurrying here so I don't run out of time like last time. So this is my matte piece, which is a four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then that way, it gives me a one eighth inch matte border around my, my piece like that. So there is your fold out, and like I said, I'm doing this in the opposite direction. So this one folds up like that, and this one I had fold down like, like that. And then I just want to make a little, um, oh, I did forget, because I'm rushing, I did forget to ink my creases, but then for the little tags here, these are from my Spellbinders Nestabilities, and this is the Scalloped Oval, small. And so I did the two smallest um, dies so that they match the, um, the background. So just kind of center it a little bit there. And I just did the bottom half so that it would place. And then this one, I'm just going to do the entire piece. And just line it up, cover it up. And then there we go. So then you adhere the back to your card base. And then on, I for this little snowflake here, I got these foam uh, snowflake stickers. I think at Michael's, I, that was a dollar for the package. And I'm pretty sure I got them at Michael's. And let's see, just take one of these bad boys off and just put it on right there. And then on this one, what I did was I added this little ribbon in the corner to tuck an extra tag in there. So there is how I make my fold outs. And of course, Angie, you can decide on what uh, which way you want it to go. It can also fold out this way or um, or out this way. You can do it however you want. I chose with my pattern going this way to go this way and then this way. You can also, you know, have it go this way, adhered in the middle, come out this way. So however you want to do it, Angie, is up to you. You be creative. Um, enjoy this um, this technique it's very easy to do and um, I can't wait to see what you do with it so a happy scrapping and ta-ta for now